I mean, I do enjoy it, but it's like... Hi. How are you? Hello, yeah. again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I can just have a couple of questions. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about, like, two seconds. So like, you know, ten minutes. The guys are even dressed, you know. You two guys. or three minutes. Oh, it's no problem, guys. No problem at all. We're saying all that. I'm no longer infected. <laughs> They're all They're a little blonder. What do you think about hitting the microphone? Well, not too much. It normally tastes quite good. Hitting the microphone. Sit down and roll out. You're rolling? Sorry. Ian, I've heard that uh, singers usually sing up before the concert, but you're singing down now, are you? Pardon me? <laughs> singers often sing up before the concert, you know, warm up. Oh voice. yeah. But what are you doing now after the concert? Um, well, drink. Having a having a first drink of the day, really. Uh, with 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 um, uh, this, um, this gentleman here. Yes. <laughs> this, this, I, this I see. Local local um, uh, come back on holiday. His family lives in a, no, Mac now, but there's a lot in England. No, here. How did you like the Swedish audience tonight? Be honest. They know exactly what's going on. They were standing and listening. And they... The, each country has its own characteristics. And there were a lot of people there who just came to really enjoy themselves. But there were a lot of people there going saying, OK, what's going to happen? Let's have a look. Let's have a listen. And I felt... That up until uh, no more cane on the Brazos, it was really hard work, um, and from then on, there was a kind of uh, spiritual bond, and it worked okay from then on. And from then on, they were great, and I respect them for that. You know, you got to check it out, see what's going on. And I don't, you know, you don't expect people to make it easy for you all the time. So they were going, oh, okay. Oh, the kids at the front were going crazy, you know, but that's what they do at the front. You have to look back a few rows, you know, and see what's happening back there. And there's people going, oh, yeah. Welcome to Sweden. Yeah, right. You know what I mean, though? But it's okay. I mean, After Brazos, it was great. And then we went into this, uh, the, the, the kind of mid-range groove stuff, the funk, soul type things from uh, the new album, like Sweet Lolita and uh, Nothing to Lose... Um, after, and Puget Sound, I think, was the turning point. That was it, Puget Sound, the, that old song. You know, the one about the, my, my f f f f first trip, 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 trip to America where I yeah, got on a great gr On the Graham bus. Mm -hmm. my bus. I met this b b b beautiful woman, w woman and we s s sat in the back, 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 back seat and f f f f f fantasized our way right across America. <laughs> Yeah, and then... John, he said, what's that, what's that on your, on your b b b b belly? He says, a birthmark, you twat. Bloody, bloody hell, he said, how, 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 how long, how long, how long have you had that? Because you were born, you dumb fuck. Well, anyway... Anyway, yes, uh, Ingrid turned up on the encores. You've never played with him before, I believe. No, it's a total surprise. I didn't even know he was in town. He just walked up and said, hey, all right? And I said, yeah, come up there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. not the whole That's truth, but a part of it. <laughs> uh, did you fancy playing with him? Uh, do you know, it's, today is the first time we've met. We spoke on the phone this afternoon, and uh, yeah. we actually met about, what, 8 o'clock tonight? 8 o'clock this Some, something, like that, yeah. something like that. Actually, it was five, five minutes past eight. You were late. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit late, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I think it was... 15 minutes. Was it? Oh, well, I was asleep then. I think my watch is wrong. But, yeah, we met tonight, and it was great fun. It was it was brilliant. Uh, of course, I know all about Ingwer. Uh, you know, he's a well-known, famous guitar player, and uh, it's it's great to have him sort of come and jam with me. You know, I mean, I think it's fantastic. We had a great time. I know the guys in the band enjoyed it. I had a fantastic time. Yeah, it was really good. So, like, any more cooperation in the future, you think? Oh, I don't think so, do you? <laughs> well, we've been talking about it. It depends how much you're prepared to pay, really. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I, was, I, 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 I don't know if I can afford him, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, it's. Um, it's what do you think about hidden mics, right? Well, yes, yes, actually. I know where that's been. Um, Ooh, say normal. It's. Uh, <laughs>
things are things are open now. I've uh, now I've made this break, you know, after getting uh, removed from the band. Um, I feel now that I can uh, have a free choice of what I want to do. And, uh, not, no, no doors are closed. Nothing's closed. Everything's exciting now. The future holds a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to get me to say any more. <laughs> no. I think you've uh, had a, you, you will have a, a, quite a long journey towards Oslo this night. Yeah. Yep. And then another concert there tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I get off the bus and I start... Um, yeah, it's a long day of interviews tomorrow. All day. Another long day of interviews. Yes. I know all about it. So, uh, I enjoy the interviews, I really do. I just sometimes wish I could have a little sleep in the afternoon just to sort of get myself ready for the show again because I was kind of tired tonight. It's been... We drove from Odense in, uh, in Sweden, in uh, Denmark, and that was about uh, 12 hours or so. I got in at midnight last night, um, travelling all day, and uh, then uh, some... I got a lot of friends in Stockholm, and so I went out. It's my fault, really. I just went out for a, a, a drink, and I got back to my bed at 7 o'clock this morning. Actually, the other day, I got I was so... <laughs> uh, so tipsy when I got back to my hotel at 7 in the morning in Copenhagen that I went in and they just started serving breakfast and I was I hadn't eaten for a day and a half and I went and ate 13 eggs for breakfast it's not a bad look no not bad <laughs> I haven't eaten since hello I promised Al to just uh, take a couple of minutes that's very sweet of you thank yeah. you <laughs> and I, I keep my it. promise why don't you talk to English yeah I, I thought so <laughs> thank you